Google My Maps. It's pretty great. You can use it to create maps with markers, shapes, routes, and you can measure areas. And best of all, Google My Maps is totally free. So it's an awesome tool for making maps, but it has a downside. It's really not great for creating beautiful maps. Maps just don't look that nice, especially when you embed them on your website. And the reason for this is there just isn't that many design options in Google My Maps. Want to increase the size of these markers to make them more distinct? Well, you can't. Want to change their color? Well, you have 30 colors to choose from, but that's it. You can't manually choose your own color. Want to change the size of this modal or add more spacing in it? Well, you can't. And what about this base map? Well, you get nine options. And some of these options are pretty useless in a city. When you finally publish your map, you're stuck with this red sidebar. You can't change its color or even turn it off. So like I said, it lacks design options. And that's what led me and my co-founder Carl to build Atlas. Atlas is a tool that makes it easy for anyone to build beautiful custom Google Maps with multiple markers. So let me show you what I mean. Let me show you Atlas. This is Atlas. Let's start by adding our first marker. Let's give this marker some notes and let's add a photo. Now let's quickly add a bunch of other markers. There we go. And let's organize these markers into two groups, museums and landmarks. Nice. Next, let's customize the look and feel of this map. So we'll go to customize. We'll start with markers. I like this pink. Change the size, reduce the border. Yeah, that's looking good. All right. Now when we click open in Moto, we can see what fonts we're using. And I'm actually going to choose some custom fonts for this map. So let's go to font. And you can use any Google font here. So we're going to choose Bebes New and Lato. And I have no idea if I pronounced those even remotely correct. Now let's customize this modal. We'll start by changing the background to this beige. Let's increase the width a little bit and give that image a bit more height. And I like to increase the size of the title. Let's hide the address. And bump up the note size. And I'd like to add a get directions button. So we'll click show and full width. And let's change the border color to black. And let's change the background color to our beige. Increase the font size by just a touch. There we go. Okay, next up, map. And we can choose from thousands of styles on a website called Snazzy Maps. I like this one, WY. So we just copy the style array and we paste it into Atlas. And there we go. Things are really starting to look good. Now I do want to add a sidebar to this map. So let's turn it on and let's customize it a bit. I don't need to see addresses and let's add a little description. Let's change the background color to our beige and let's up that title size. And I think that's actually looking pretty good. I'm happy with this. If we go to publish, we can view it as a visitor. And I got to say, I think this is our final map. This looks really good. So from here, we can share a link to this map or we can use the embed code to embed this map on any website. And that's Atlas, our alternative to Google My Maps. Now Atlas does cost money and that's inevitable because anyone building a service on top of the Google Maps platform has to pay Google $7 for every 1,000 times a map is requested. So like 0.7 cents per map load. Atlas has a base plan of $18 per month that includes 2,000 views. From there, every additional view is 0.9 cents per map request. 
That way we pay Google its 0.7 cents and we make a small cut. Hope that makes sense and hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.